and we back. Now, this morning, I got an email from a fan of ours named Alex. And Alex, he wanted to do me a solid and help me with video ideas. So, he told me about 2K MT Central. Obviously, a site that I've used plenty of times before. But there's a feature on there that I didn't know existed. So, Alex, who's from Illinois, shout out to you for inspiring this video. So, 2K MT Central has always been a place where I go into here and I draft a team and try to rebuild that team. But, there's another feature in this named Random Player. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit random player 14 times and build a team with those 14 players. But y'all know with 2K Empty Century, there's classic players, historic players or whatever. So whenever we land on a historic player, we're going to scratch it because obviously we're rebuilding with current players. So the first official random player is, oh my God, this is what you want me to do, Alex? Cameron Payne. I don't, you, you know, we don't, we don't mess with camera paying these parts. Look at the shirt. We don't mess with camera paying around here, but he's on our team now. All right. I'll take it. Okay. Next random player is somebody that we can't use. So this will happen. So when it does, we just keep it going. Shout out to Anthony Bowie. Todd Gibson. Do they know what type of fan I am? Another former Bulls players on the team. All right. Number three player is going to be shout out to Ralph Sampson. But it can't be him. Um, shout out to Virginia, too. You know, he was at that national championship game, but it's he's not going to be on our squad. Kevin Durant! That's a dub. All right, so our first official star, KD, is on the team. Okay, it can only go down from here. But that's okay, because we got Kevin Durant. We can't get World Be Free. I don't even want World Be Free. We can get Jeff Green. Again, like I said, it can only go down. So Jeff Green. We can go up now. We can go up now. Jeff Green to, okay, can't get Austin Carr, but to Wayne Selden Jr. That is the third current or former Bulls player that this randomizer has given us. I don't know what the odds are in these things, but they're favoring Bulls players. Okay, after him, we're going to have, oh, John Stockton would be nice right now, but it can't be him. It has to be Derek White, which actually, not too bad. I know his card is a bronze, but of course we're using the real roster. And Derek White has had a pretty good year, so we'll take him. After Derek White, we're going to have Dwayne Wade. They just knew. They knew. They knew that there's a soft spot. Uh, again, another former bull, by the way. But they know there's a soft spot in my heart for Dwayne Wade, so he's on the team. I think this card just dropped in real life a few nights ago. And uh, he looks amazing. If I was a my team guy, he would be on the roster. But he's on our roster in my league. After Wade, we're going to have Will Chamberlain. They're giving me some good options. If this was a my team video, my team would be stacked. Kevin Durant, Will Chamberlain, Dwayne Wade, John Stockton, all those guys, Ralph Sampson. But after him, we have Dame Dollar. We'll take that as well. So we got two stars in Damian Litter and um, Kevin Durant. So we usually do 14 of these. So we're on number nine, Devin Harris. Take a step back from Damian Lillard, but Devin Harris is fine, especially since he's going to get traded, but that's cool. Devin Harris, once upon a time, Devin Harris was that man, but now at 36 years old, you know, he can only do so much. So after Devin Harris, we're going to get, we can't get Reggie Lewis, may he rest in peace. We will get, we can't get Booby Gibson either after Booby Gibson. We can't get Damon Stoudemire, shout out to Mighty Mouse, but we're going to, okay. They keep giving us classic players, another Dwayne Wade. DeJounte Murray. Okay, we'll take DeJounte Murray. I wish he was able to play this season. They, the Spurs are fine without him, but of course they will be better with him locking up other point guards. But he's going to lock up point guards on our team. Okay, after DeJounte Murray, we have Jalen Brunson. We have a lot of guards on this team. Like a, a ridiculous amount of guards. But Jalen Brunson's now in the squad. I, I like Jalen Brunson a lot because I don't think he's from Illinois, but I think he went to high school here. So... Yeah, a fan. All right, so number 12, we can't get Isaac Austin, so we're going to keep it going. Michael Red, I can't do it, but I wish I could. Clyde Drexler can't do it, wish I could. Jared Jack. That's interesting. I'm going to put a question mark behind it because I know Jared Jack didn't play for a team this year. But do y'all think he's in the game? I don't think he's in the game. So we're going to add him to the team, but something tells me he's not in it. Um, So... We're going to keep it going and act like it didn't happen. But if he is in the game, I will put him on the team. Next, not David Robinson. Shout out to the Admiral. Demontis Sabonis. I'll take that dub. So two more. 
with Trey Young. Nice. A good trade piece. As much as I love Trey Young, we got Damian Lillard, so we don't really need another point guard. So Trey Young in a trade package, we're about to get another star. And then the last official person will be Kyle Korver. Shout out to Hot Sauce. I think our team is, is nice, but we're going to make it better. All right, so here's our team in 2K. Uh, they're very good. I think this team is good. This is definitely a playoff team. Too many point guards, though. Our bench is Trey Young, Derek White, DeJounte Murray, and Jalen Brunson coming off the bench. And y'all know how we do things around here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simulate this first season just to see how good this team would be before I start making trades. And then we're going to come back and actually make trades to make that team better. Do I think this is a playoff team? 100%. Y'all, the team is trash. Uh, Way worse than I expected. It looks like we're going to win 40, 41 games. And I don't even know if that's enough to make the playoffs. So it's time for GM to come through and fix this team. Did we make the playoffs? We are the sixth seed at 41-41. <laughs> so that was enough to get us into the playoffs, but that's that's it. Like, we're just here. Uh, let's take a look at stats, though. I'm very curious to how KD and Dane. KD and Dane both did their thing, but the rest of the team didn't do much. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we're going to win more than 41 games when I take over. That's for sure. Um, My real question is, what do I... I think I'm looking for, like, a good center, you know? I want a Rudy Gobert-type center where I don't need him to score the ball because I got KD and Damian Lillard. But just somebody that can, you know, stand tall and play some great defense. And we got eliminated in the first round. So I'm about to start over and take this team to a championship. Okay, so obviously the first thing we have to address is this super deep point guard thing we have. Matter of fact, let's start off right here. So that's the first move. Second move would be trading Trey Young for a better power forward. Trey Young and Todd Gibson, no joke, should get us some Good, good offers because Trey Young is a future all-star probably and Taj Gibson is just there for the money. Watch these trade comes in. Boom! Ben Simmons. Do I need Ben Simmons? No. John Wall? Nope, nope. None of these players I need. LaMarcus Aldridge? No, nah, he take too many shots, dog. Like I said, give me that center that I'm thinking about. But they don't come. They don't come through. So it is my turn to try to build the perfect trade. Okay, so this is the trade I've built out so far. They're, they're okay. They said they don't want this trade. And you know what? I don't blame them because uh, it's Joel Embiid. But if I throw you a first-round pick from the Mavs, we have a deal. Simple. Okay. So I know I said I wanted a center that's not, that's not going to take a lot of shots. I'm okay with having Joel Embiid. If he's taking a lot of shots, I'm cool with that. All right. So a power forward. And I want Dwayne Wade to come off the bench. I don't want him to be my starting shooting guard. So we're looking for a upgrade at power forward we're gonna have to make a decision between one of these two point guards do i want the defense and dejounte murray or do i want the offense and Derek jones or Derek white not Derek jones Derek white is getting traded Derek white and who did we just get in that trade oh we got we got joel and beat i forgot so this is tough because we got so much money wrapped up in these top three guys that the rest of these trades probably won't get us much but we're gonna try and see we can get for Derek White and the first. It would have to be somebody on a rookie contract. Oh, bring back some bonus. No, it would probably be somebody on like a rookie contract or something close to it, like Anais Cantor. Like it has to be somebody that's not making a lot of money. So, who's the best guy available? Trade 11 is interesting. Trade 11 is real interesting. That's actually probably the trade we're going to do unless we want to go out and get Malcolm Brogdon and Brooke Lopez. Put Brooke, Brooke Lopez at power forward. He can stretch the floor. And then Malcolm Brogdon can run shooting guard for us. I like the way that sound. But I, I like the idea of having Brandon Ingram and then having Kevin Durant run power forward. But we're going to do this original trade. Welcome to the team, Malcolm Brogdon and Brooke Lopez. Splash Mountain is in the building. So let's make him a power forward. His overall should go up to an 80 because everybody gets better as a power forward going from center. And he is now an 80 overall. So our team is looking like... Come on, set my rotation. Hello? They they not set in the rotation. Oh, they still want Brogdon to come off the bench. And come on now. Come on now. So we're doing Dame Brogdon. KD, Brooke, and Joel. Um, I think that's pretty good. Then off the bench, we have Dwayne Wade 
DeJounte Murray. Those are the only two guys that are safe. We need a backup center that's good. That's not Greg Monroe. And Jeff Green is fine, but if I could get better, I will get better. We're going to take Karis LeVert and Joe Harris away from the Brooklyn Nets. Taking two big pieces of their team. But y'all know we're living in a fictional world, so um, I don't feel bad about making that trade. So now we got more wing depth than ever. Um, but I did get also make that trade to try to flip one of them. So let me do that real quick for like a power forward or a center. So we're going to get a power forward and a center. Montrez Harrell and Jermichael Green. This is a fictional world that we live in, in, and I like it a lot. So we traded basically Jeff Green and got back Jermichael. I like that trade a lot. So this is what our team is looking like. I'm going to mess around with the minutes real quick. All right, so we have Damian, Malcolm Brogdon, KD, Brooke Lopez, and Joel Embiid. And off the bench, we have Montrez Harrell, Dwayne Wade, Karis LeVert, DeJounte Murray, and Jermichael Green. 100% a championship team. I have to get the right coach for us, though. So let's go into... Where is it at? Where is it at? I got to find the right system. And the balance system... Oh, the space and pace or the perimeter-centric systems look to be the best. So let's go perimeter-centric. And then we're going to fire... Uh, Lloyd Pierce, no disrespect. And we're going to pick up Malcolm S S Staff for something. Um, shout out to Big Mike. But his system fits us perfectly, and we should win a bunch of games. Last thing we got to do is make that, that, and then go to shoot at will. I want us to just score as many points as possible. So we're going to simulate to the end of the season and go win a championship. Okay, so the end of the season is here. Trey Young won six man of the year. He's backing up Ben Simmons, but he averaged 20 points off the bench, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but we did not win coach of the year, which is uh, kind of sad. But it, Atlanta Hawks, we have Joel Embiid and Kevin Durant, second team All NBA. And defensively, we got nobody. But two players, second team All NBA is pretty good. They're showing us some respect. So take a look at our stats. Those are the playoff stats. Here are the official regular season stats. Damian Lillard averaged more points than both of them, but he didn't make an All NBA team. Snubbed. Slept on. That's what uh people say on Twitter and stuff. So let's see how we perform in the playoffs. We're gonna shorten our rotation. We're gonna take away Jermichael Green's minutes, even though he's on fire right now. And we'll give him minutes if we need to. He averaged, you know, three points a game. So, you know, on fire for sure. Give him all the minutes to our stars. And then, you know, playoff weight is something decent too. So, first round, we're going against the Brooklyn Nets. We took Karis LeVert away from them. We took Joe Harris away from them. So, they should not be a problem. 2-0, 3-0, and not a sweep. A gentleman sweep. We give them five. You know, we let them win one game on their court. And they feel good. They get a little bit of optimism that we come in and we go for the throats. But Boston beat us in a game. Two games. Don't let it happen again. We're in the conference finals against the Toronto Raptors, who y'all know 2K loves. So we're going game by game. It's a dub for game one. Oh, okay. We just assimilate the whole round. We don't blow 2 0 leads around here. Okay. Okay, we almost blew a 2 0 lead. But we're going against the Rockets, because y'all know the Warriors don't have Kevin Durant, you know? They got Torian Prince instead. So let's see how this goes. Game one is a dub for us, of course. Game two is a dub. Game three, and we're going to sweep in the finals? Yes, we will. And Joel Embiid wins finals MVP averaging 22 and 19 and 5. And also three blocks. He only shot 40% from the field, which is not that great for a center. But we won in four games, and I cannot complain about that. So that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like. Again, I love doing these different uh, rebuilds. So shout out again to Alex that recommended this idea. Thank y'all. Peace.